Okay, welcome to this video. We're going to be looking at the Korg Nano Control 2 and how we can use it to control the sliders in Lightroom, just make our workflow just a little bit easier. I found various information about this on the web when I was trying to set it up. Uh, I started off with a wireless MIDI setup from the iPad, which didn't really give a very tactile experience. The Korg Nano Control 2 is a cheap MIDI controller that can easily be used to set up uh, a number of channels. So far I've got it running 16 channels on Lightroom. So let's have a look. Firstly, you're going to need a MIDI controller like this one. Uh, I picked this up for £15 on eBay. It's simple, it plugs into one USB, requires no extra power, and so far it just works. So first off we're going to want to download and launch the Korg Control Editor. Once that's up and running, we can select our Nano Control 2, double click there, and it will give us this information panel. What this is going to do is tell us which channels each of these different knobs and sliders are mapped to. If you want to change one of the channels, you can just simply click on a number down here to CC number. We can change that channel to say 22, 23, anything we want. If you want to export that mapping, you go up to Communication, Write Scene Data, and then OK, and what it'll do is send that scene data, that channel information, through to your nano controller. I'm going to leave mine where it is with that on channel 16 for now. In order to check that our MIDI controller is working, we're going to search for MIDI and click on MIDI monitor. The MIDI monitor is going to give you a real-time feedback for, I'll just open this up, for all of the controls that we're using with this monitor so you can see each of those knobs and dials has a corresponding value okay so into Lightroom now you'll need to download and install a plugin called knob room uh, there's only one and it's spelled how you think k-n-o-b-r-o-o-m knob room um, download that and once you then restart your Lightroom you can go to plugin manager and you'll see here, I've got it highlighted, Knob Room will allow you to map each of those CC values that we've just seen onto a different value within Lightroom. Now there's different um, output modules for the 2012, the 2010s, um, and the different types of CS. I'm using uh, Lightroom from 2015 um, CC now, so these are the ones that I'm going to use. And I've gone through that list, so I've got the develop settings um, and a couple of navigate settings as well mapped to various buttons. Let's see how they actually work and to get them to work each time you go into Lightroom you're gonna have to go to plugin extras and then start knob room. Make sure that the Nano Control 2 is connected on both of these and then press start. Right so here's my simple picture. The way that I've got it mapped works like this. I'm gonna start at the top of the sliders and work my way down. My first one exposure so as soon as I grab that um, if they're not directly centered you're going to see a big leap uh, as we move them so I'll just center these a little bit so exposure on my first slider contrast on the second and you can see these working in real time there's a tiny lag but it works pretty well highlights there then shadows whites on the next slider blacks on the next slider. On the last two I have them set to clarity in case I'm just tweaking that a little bit in like a product shot I don't do it really for portraits and then the last one I've got vibrance because I prefer to use that before my saturation. Then we've got the knobs across the top basically exactly the same control only I've got these set for temperature up here I've got them set for tint on the second one and then saturation is my third as I move across um, I could have mapped these to other controls I can't remember what I've got them on at the moment so we'll not worry too much about that but let's have a look at how we can actually use that so I've reset the image so we can have a look at how quickly we can actually edit make these edits with our sliders on this particular image we're gonna start with the exposure tweak the warmth a little bit maybe bring in a little touch of magenta then I'm going to up the shadows and the contrast. And now that's a bit too bright, so I'm going to pull the vibrance down. Something like that, nice and fast, and we've got our image. 
let's have a look at a second image now so going again with the sliders looking at this and i'm going to want to pull the whites and certainly the highlights down a little bit so let's do both of those before we start tweaking the exposure i'm going to pull a little bit of pink into this i'm going to make it a little bit warmer um let's tweak the contrast up slightly if we can there we go and then i'm going to pull those highlights and whites down even further for those skies pull up the blacks a little you can see I'm doing all of this with sliders. There's nothing here that is so far has required the mouse. Nice and fast. And we've got that. Okay, let's quickly look at one more image. So I'm going to start off with these. And you can see very, very quickly... I've got a lot of control on this. I'll pull the clarity on this one up. And there we go. Image finished straight away. Okay, so that's it on the Korg Nano Control 2. I just wanted to show you how that actually worked to integrate with uh, Lightroom on Mac. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And good luck setting up your MIDI controller.